female, if you're a male, when it comes to situations like that? Because who would who who would agree to that plea deal? Because she pleaded that. That means yes. both sides had to agree. Both sides had to agree that you know, yeah, she got pregnant by a 13 year old. She got pregnant by a 13 year old. Yes. Think about that. Think about that. If it was a, a older guy that had a 13 year old girl and got her pregnant, what would be the difference? <laughs> Here we go. An investigation. A 31 year old woman who admits to having sex with a 13 year old boy and then becoming pregnant with his child won't face any jail time under a plea deal with prosecutors. 11 call for action. Investigative reporter Matt Kroschel is joining us live tonight. Matt, 31 year old Andrea Serrano was facing sexual assault charges, but accepted this new plea deal to stay out of prison. Adam Serrano gave birth to a baby boy. She admitted to having sex with that 13-year-old. The victim's mother, who we're not going to identify in this story, tells us she is not happy with this deal offered to a woman she says ruined her son's life. I feel like my son's robbed of his childhood. Now he's having to be a father. He, he's a victim, and... He's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. This mother says watching her son struggle with the reality he now faces breaks her heart. What has this been like for your son? Um, it's caused him a lot of depression. He's um, shut down a lot. Now she questions why this woman won't face prison time. Uh, I feel like if she was a man and he was a little girl, it would definitely be different. They would be of course. in incarceration. Of yes. course. I feel like yes. if she's a woman, they're not. They're having compassion for her because she was pregnant. But I don't think they take into play again. She was pregnant by a child. You know, that child was created from a sexual abuse. Under terms of the plea deal, the suspect signed off on Pause he required for a to register as a sex offender. And the judge could Bro. Bro. Let's Bro. Go. Let's Bro. Go. Let's go. Okay. 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 So this young guy. Let's go. Was abused by this older woman and she gets the scapegoat mm. where's the equality in that because if it was on the shoes was on the other foot if there was a guy that was grooming a little girl it'd be totally different you know it'd be totally different I, I, uh, you know it would be well why, uh, why did she get the plea deal and why does both sides agree to the plea deal? Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to hold you back because uh, I feel a toxic vibe coming from you, okay? That toxic masculinity is still it's, floating I around. It's I think it's aggressiveness. It is aggressive. And assertiveness. Uh, but we got to stop that. But let's oh, go on and get serious about it. Yeah. Let's get serious about it. Hey, hey, people. Hey, family. We all know that's wrong, okay? Yes, true enough, she was pregnant. But we all know 100% if that was a man, if that was a man and the roles were reversed, he would be in prison. He would be he would be going to jail right now. So she did abuse him and it is wrong. We both know it. We got to agree with it. OK, and then you muncho guys and all that stuff and. You know, I remember back in the day, and I will say this, when I was a young Thundercat, okay, back in eighth grade, and I would look at my teacher, and man, she have a skirt on, and man, I was like, man, good gracious, I'm looking at she teaching and all of that stuff. Like, man, she is cute for an older person. Look. But, 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 I got to say this, what? or whatever. What? What you got to say? Most most guys or guys fantasize about you know these older women because we in puberty exactly. and we going up and we exactly. we growing up exactly. in puberty yeah or whatever nothing puberty. happened nothing yeah. happened no yeah. but this day and time we know men are being jailed that's yeah. it yeah. and women why is it okay uh, and I, if they don't go to prison they will get slapped I, with I, something I, else. 
Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I agree. I agree with. Hey, look, the, the the way you know, I guess it depends on, you know, if you're a female, or if you're a male, when it comes to situations like that, because who would, who who would agree to that plea deal? Because she pleaded that. That means yes. both sides had to agree. Both sides had to agree that, you know, yeah, she got pregnant by a thirteen year old. She got pregnant by a thirteen year old. Yes. Think about that. Think about that. If it was a, a older guy that had a thirteen year old girl and got her pregnant, what would be the difference? Mm. They still take advantage of the youth. That's exactly what's going on. Yes. That's exactly what's going on. So, yeah, that that right there, I yeah, I, I I totally disagree with that. I totally dis disagree with that. Predator, predator. That's what she is. What? Yes. I don't want to hear. No about... matter if she's in, look, look, no matter if she's in elementary, uh, middle mm. school, whatever the case may be. But yeah, she's a predator. She may have, uh, look, look, I'm, I, I guarantee she's on a sex offender list. And oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can yeah. probably talk to your neighbor and who knows who's a sex offender in their neighborhood. Nobody really looks at that stuff. Or whatever. The only, only people that really probably look at it, if they do look at it, is the people that's looking for a job. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, you know, the people that you're trying to bring into your organization, you may look at that stuff. But a lot of people, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, me, I feel like they don't. They don't look at that. That. That stuff. You know, you 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 over there updating, going to the website and for your area mm -hmm. and say who's new to your area. And you well, want she some should, notifications. She should she should um be registered and all that and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. But uh I got a different thing on this, uh, another different outlake uh outtake. Um well they say he depressed and all this stuff and feeling bad and everything. Uh wants to parent, hopefully I two parent household, I don't know. Uh mm -hmm. but they explain some things to him or whatever, but let's build that, that kid up. It, it wasn't his fault or yeah, whatever. Yeah, he yeah. don't even know you 13 yeah. years old. No, you don't whatever. know. No, you don't. He hey, don't hey, know. Oh, oh, okay. So let's give him a benefit of the doubt. Let's give him a benefit of the doubt. Cause ahead. we haven't watched the whole video. We haven't mm -hmm. watched the whole video. So let's, oh, let's, uh, more? we did pause. Is it more? We did, we did pause. We paused in the beginning oh we okay let's, the go, beginning let's go let's go let, let, let's let's play let's keep it playing let's, let's go see. let's see let's see it sends her to 10 years to life of sex offender intensive supervised probation but mm. serrano will avoid any jail time since the da's office dropped the original charges to a lesser charge that does not come with mandatory jail time what should other parents be looking for don't trust anybody honestly i mean you can't trust anybody now The victim's family says they are looking for the next steps in this case, and they'll actually ask the courts to give custody to the 13-year-old of this baby. Adam and Lindsay, what we do know is that Serrano has a, a hearing coming up in May where she will learn how much probation time she'll have. Currently, Serrano has full custody of the baby. Back to you. Okay, we'll follow up on that case, Matt. Wow. Wow. That's wow. It. You can go ahead and cut it. Under investigation. That's it. it. So so that that's crazy that you know the the <laughs> child yes. has custody of the child, but you know the child is not gonna take care of the child. It's gonna be well, the parent be of the child. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think they it's said the grandparent uh, is gonna take care of the child. You know, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Mama, mama gonna take care of the child. And, of course, of course. Uh but that hasn't been decided yet. So she still has custody of the child. They have to go to court. But I don't think the, the mama shouldn't have custody. No way. No way. And charges, sh charges, this is, it is ridiculous or whatever. Because like I said, if the tables were turned, we already know what would happen. Even though she was pregnant. No, she should have still went. Isn't that probation? She lost a job, so she won't be able to to do that again with another mm -hmm. kid or whatever, but she has some problems. And 
we always want to say, oh, it's mental issues. No, she was totally, totally wrong. I don't care what she was missing in her life. But to take advantage of the of the kids, I'm an advocate for the kids, the kids and elderly people. She took advantage. She was wrong. It was because she got pregnant or whatever. She still should pay the price. Yeah, She can yeah. go to jail or prison, whatever. And the kid, the grandma, his mom, they'll help take care of the kid. Because we don't know what's going to happen with this, this young, young male as he grow up with all of this stuff. Oh, it's going to be a lot that happens to this young male. That young male, he's going to grow up and he's... He's going to be acting out on what she did to him. She's mm-hmm. he's going to that's that's going to happen. And, and it, it, if you look at this when it when I, uh when it comes to the final thoughts and everything, you know, like I would look at like you know the the person that really hurts in this situation is that thirteen year old. So that thirteen year old is um, it, man, oh my god, that guy right there, he don't know what to think. You know, he doesn't know what to think in that situation. So he's just going to follow whose lead. He's going to follow his mama lead. He's going to follow the woman he had sex with lead because he she led him to do that or whatever. She needs to be in jail behind the bars, up under the bars. You know what I'm saying? She needs to definitely be there. She don't get just because she got pregnant because of him doesn't mean she get an excuse or anything. She needs to be up under the jail. She needs to be there. And he needs some type of, you know, uh, uh, he. I don't know. I don't know his circumstances, and you know, I can probably bet that he didn't have both parents in the household. We both know, you know that. Yeah, I, I can bet. I can, and we talked this on other episodes that he ain't had both parents. So, guarantee that's the reason why he reached out for comfort in someone else. But because I, mom and daddy would have yeah. got him straight and he wouldn't have reached out. I'm, I can guarantee. You know what I'm saying? But you don't said it all with the final thoughts. And I mm-hmm. agree with you. And mm-hmm. we I just agree that she should be doing some type of time. That's yeah. it. That's oh, yeah. my final right. thoughts. Oh, if yeah. you mess right. with the kids, you are wrong, regardless of male or female. Let's right get now. it together, people. And let us know your comments too. Yeah, put it put it in the comments. Because we will respond to that. We will respond to that. Put in the comments what you think about this video. And we gave you our, we gave you our take. I want to hear your take. All right. We'll talk Shout to you out. later. Uncomfortable truth. <laughs> Shout right out to here. our congregation. Shout hey. out. All right. Hey. Oh. Roger that.